Hi everyone, it's Bustin' Wheels from BustinWheels.com and Bustin' Wheels on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Flickr. All of those things. Anyway, the real reason that I'm coming to you right now is because I'm going to make Bustin' Wheels juice because I travel so much and this is what keeps me going and healthy. I try to stay slim because I love to eat everywhere I go. I've been to Europe, Australia, all over the world. Brian and I are going to Spain soon and we're going to be hiking the El Camino to Santiago. So we've been training quite a bit. So I'm going to make some recovery juice, but it's called Bustin' Wheels Juice. Now, here is my recipe. One medium apple, one beet, 12 medium carrots, half a lemon, and two oranges. I've already prepared all of these vegetables and fruits because they take time. So I'm forewarning you now, make sure you set aside a good hour to make these things and you can make a couple days worth of this juice. This juice is great to lower your cholesterol and for your diabetes if you have it, and hopefully you don't, but it's excellent. So I'm gonna turn on my Omega Juicer and this thing is awesome. You put in the fruits and vegetables into this little hole. You can push them down with the stick if you need to. And what happens is you have two containers. This Omega Juicer separates the pulp from the juice. It still adds a little bit of pulp into your juice and you can control that by using different types of canisters here. So I've got 12 carrots I've got to stick through here. I'm going to focus on those for a while. And what I've done with these carrots, I've cut them down into finger sizes. That way it heats them up. And you have to really be careful because if you put too many carrots in at once, it will get stuck. All you do is put it in reverse and it keeps on going. So I'm going to do a little bit at a time. Carrots are really hard and fibrous. I call this pulp poop. It's worse than pulp fiction. You can use this in your gardens. You can actually fertilize your garden with this, but I don't because I have two Australian shepherds. They're sitting over there right now just waiting for a creme de fall. So Brian and I have been hiking quite a bit in Orange County. We hiked 12 miles today in Chino Hill State Park. I do love Orange County, but I've got to be honest with you. Not many real pretty places to hike here. The coast is great. Chino Hills is okay. It provides a lot of mileage, but there's a lot of weeds out there. We did manage to see a snake today. It was a San Diego gopher snake. Awesome. And we've seen rattlesnakes out there, bull snakes, and tarantulas. So now I'm going to put these oranges in here. Oranges are great. They provide a lot of vitamin C. They are absolutely, insanely yummy. <laughs> and once I finish this juice, I'm going to give some to my friend Angie because she needs a little more pick-me-up. Okay, so I'm finishing my ingredients here. I'm adding the beets now. Now these beets are beautiful. They make the juice turn a brilliant ruby red like my ruby red slippers that I have in my closet. This one seems to be a little bit too big, so I'm gonna get a knife and I'm gonna have to cut it just a little bit more because this hole right here is only so big. Okay, so now I've added the last ingredients. I've added one beet chopped up into four pieces. This is simply amazing. Look at this color. Isn't that amazing? I mean, I just love this pulp. It's really fluffy and I really wish I could use it in my garden. But those two Aussies I have, Buddy and Manny, they are the biggest beggars you'll ever meet. A little bit of uh, coconut can be added. You can always add extra ingredients. Let's say you want to add a little flavor of coconut a little bit of pineapple, which is what I do. This is 100% natural pineapple, of course, from Trader Joe's. I should be working for them. Okay, everyone, I have finally finished pressing the last ingredients into the Omega Juicer. And look at this, isn't that 
gorgeous. I mean, you could probably paint a picture with this. So I'm gonna put this in a really nice ball jar, airtight, and then I'm gonna save it for tomorrow morning. It's best to drink this on an empty stomach because guess what? It's gonna move you really good. So this is Olivia. If you have any questions, you want the recipe, I can email it to you. Just visit me on bustinwheels.com. I'll probably put it up on my website tomorrow, but if you need it tonight, email me, bustinwheels at yahoo.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bustin' Wheels on YouTube. 